All right, I am pretty excited today for what I'm going to be playing. I've got um, Quest Pirate Warrior. It is just so happens that Warrior is one of the classes that I need to get my thousand wins in. Still working towards it. I'm at 854, so always been looking for a good Warrior deck I could get my hands on, and I did. Just gonna jump right into it right now because I'm very excited about this Quest Warrior. This is not the Quest Warrior that I put together. Oops. Oh, broke the game. Nope. I'll uh, reconnect. Anyway, so let's see if I can fix that. Quest Warrior. This is the one that I put together. The other one was the old version. Oh, broke it. Broke it. I didn't do it. Log me in. Has anybody been having this issue? I'm alone in the dark. It's okay. I'm the game. So this is Quest Warrior that I'm gonna be playing, and I did just craft Rokara the Valorous. I've never had a chance to use him yet. I'm very excited about that. I'm not a fan of to the front. Don't love it. Don't love it. This may be the wrong version. Still, it reloaded the game that I was. Trying to avoid. So this is some tech uh, that gets in, gets put in there to the front. Not bad. This is not the version uh, that I'll be playing from here on, but this is the old, the last version I was doing. So I like it. Blood Sail Deckhand. Uh, ideally, you get them out early so that your Whetstone Hatchet's free. You get a Blood Sail Raider after that. So you can boost it up. Maybe it was one of the things that got buffed so you know it'd be a four or three little advantages like that um fog seal freebooter is my ideal turn too but i will take a blood seal raider uh oftentimes against a shaman it's not going to be a benefit but maybe against a druid something that could avoid a two attack but shaman's great at killing threes so i like to play harbor scamp especially against shaman because it makes them overkill some of my minions here Anytime I can make him waste damage, uh, you know, if he does three damage to a two cost, I like that. Because it's mana uh, damage I could have taken all to my face and I didn't, or something for a stronger minion that's now out of reach. No I like this. Two, three. Um, very easy here. Um, coin. Sword Eater, because now I have a weapon that's going to be able to take out his two, three. I want to stay, really the idea with Pirate is to get Juggernaut as quickly as you can and then beat his face down after that. So you can control the board until you get Juggernaut if you're, if you're on ramp to do it. Everything here looks good. Next turn, um, I plan on doing a Blood Cell Raider and hopefully I get another two drop. The only question here is the minion or his face. I don't see... I don't see the healing totem being a big threat, so I don't want him to get the taunt, the serpent totem. So I'm going to take this out because it decreases the likelihood that he'll get the taunt totem. Plus, he might wipe my board with like a lightning storm uh, or take me down that way. And anytime I lose the advantage of doing damage to something, see, this is a nice one. I'll probably take the trade. Okay. He feels very strongly about this. So after this, we'll draw a weapon. Doesn't look like we're playing two minions. We have taunts. He may use a lightning storm, which does three to everything. I really would like to just put out a cannoneer and hit his face and hope one of the cannons takes out the three, two. Um... Because next turn, Anchorman, and it looks like he'll have to board wipe or something. So I'm going to do this just because I've got it. And I'm feeling a little lucky. And I could spend that one man on the Whetstone Hatchet. There's only one weapon in the deck. It's the Whetstone Hatchet. And that's it. 
I'm gonna put it in because I have the mana now to do it. And if he wants to destroy the weapon, it's not central to the deck, so he can do that if he wants to put out a rattlesnake. I think that's the kind of snake it is, I forget. Let me check the chat here real quick. KAX, I see you. Hello. <clears throat> I like Slate Breaker. That's a, a compact card. Does two things. Two mana. Get a wind chill. Free something. Player or minion, right? No, just minion. Okay, I can take... I can play two pirates this turn, so I'll play weapon attack. And I could take out his minion right now with my weapon, but why bother? Because maybe the two cannonballs, one will take him out. And then all that can just be damage that goes to his face. Well, okay. Um, I do have to take the, the damage. It's like a warrior's obligation. So that's nice. Seven damage. Extra. That could be lethal right there. So with what's on the board, it's like check. Six damage. Fourteen. And then with what's in my hand, South Sea Captains would do more damage than Mistress Might. I just play two. Um... Crossbell. Summon a 3 4 that freezes. So we've got 10, 17. Attack with the weapon first. Maybe you'll get it. Okay, and then. Arbor scam for the win. I like him. He's nice. Mm hmm. Barbecue ribs. Got a daily. Very nice. Very nice. What's next? Moving up, too. Elise? Is that who that is? Star Seeker? Master Librarian. I'm up there with her. And the likes. Alright. I like Quest Warrior a lot. This is this is fun deck. Hello. Six Flags Magic Mountain. One neck. Nine nine nine. KXIPS. Hello everyone. How are you? You asked for it. All right. Oh, some glitch there, graphical or otherwise. I hope it goes away. Raid the docks, Marshall Raider, Cargo Guard. These are fine. Um, well, I have a feeling whatever I put out, Mage will kill it anyway, for the most part. They're good at doing three damage um, early game. Oh, I have been looking forward to playing that. Oh, <laughs> something's, uh, something's going on. Something's weird with my graphics, too. Oh. Uh, Frost Mage loves Tour Guide um, because they have. Uh, oh, I forget. Py Py Pyro, some or another Junker Bomb. The thing that makes their fire go up one, their hero power. Wildfire. Wildfire. Am I not playing? Okay. Okay, we're good. Right on schedule. Right on track. I'm in it. Nothing's frozen. Everything's going good. That quest uh, exclamation point looks a little glitchy there, though. Graphical. Uh, 
How's my audio? Am I coming in clear? Ugh. Is she taking a long time or am I lagging? She's killing me. Um, later game, maybe this will be useful. I think I'll go for this now. I'll go for the trade. Okay, four and four. So he should probably throw off the extra mana that he would have at his three mana cost. Are you all seeing this? Something's up. Something is amiss. I think there's something wrong with my connection. I'm reconnected. Oof, the tension is killing me. All right. Things are good. Things are fine. Everything's right on schedule. Pretty sure I hit him in his face. Okay. Well, then... That's all I meant. I needed to do. Let me know when it's my turn again. Oof! This is oh, this is rough. I gotta see what this looks like too on the other side. Maybe I'm not streaming. Maybe there's something wrong with um, my my view. Nope. Come on now. Oh, you're killing me. What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. Just play him. Do I do something? What do you think? Jump back in, right? Just jump right back in. See if that works. Maybe it's my turn. Maybe it's still his turn. Either way. <clears throat> I'm not giving up. Resuming. Okay. Okay. Well, he's out. That's fine. <laughs> Don't even... I just got back. Okay. He's up to T damage. Feeling pretty good about that. I think I'm all caught up. Did you guys see that? So, it would be nice, in a, <laughs> now that I'm back on, it would be nice to have... Um, I don't see it in the deck. This this particular build, which is 
unfortunate because I like there's no mass damage. Let's see. Clip of five to unstoppable force. I think now seems like the right time for this. Right? Voltron transform. No force on What's the unstoppable force do? Smash it into the enemy. Alright. Smash. Alright, that was fun, I suppose. Deal 2 damage, honorable kill, game 4 armor. Okay. Anytime I can do 2 damage, it's a good thing. That'll work on my own guys, I take it. So, I will South Sea Captain. And then Blood Sail Deckhand. Now, I'll just, uh. I'm getting Captain Rokaka. Okay, so who do I want? Just, uh. Just armor, and I'll take the captain. <laughs> Gotta get to me. Yep, that's easy. And Mage can do a lot of damage, but I don't see a lot of cards, so. And so I'm gonna hit him with his weapon too. I feel pretty good about that. There's a board presence, there's a juggernaut, I'm at 23. He's got four cards. I have five cards, so I, right now I feel like I have the advantage. Okay, some good draw there. Um, this could be Mizaki Mage. I think I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, they do a lot of spell damage by drawing a lot and playing a lot of really cheap spells that feed up mana. And then they normally small spells uh, like ignite and recurring things blast your face for like 10, 15 damage pretty easily. It can rely it can reliably do like 40 or 50 damage in a turn at a at a 10 mana. Pretty reliably, I think so. Um, oh, this is. I'll just do a bunch of things that pump up my attack. That was cool. Yeah. I like that mage deck, deck though, that Mizaki mage. It's tricky and I think a lot of mage, uh, quest mage especially, is like frost related. Hey, thank you, Curse Pixie. It was a nice win. I... Uh, finally to use that card. Very exciting. How's my audio? Do I sound, am I sounding clear? There's like a 30 second lag whenever you ask a question or something. I'm not expecting a quick response. <clears throat> I like Cursed Amalgam. I like Cursed Amalgam if the weapon is um, a different one, too. They got the... I can never remember the names of things. <laughs> um, plus one, plus one to a, a pirate, a dragon, and a something. Every time you attack with it. And so the Amalgam gets the bonus that isn't pirate. So if you got an amalgam in your hand, I will find the name of that weapon somewhere. Someday. It's not that important. <laughs> I had no idea how bad the hand was. All threes. Um, so what's the first one to play in a circumstance like that? Well, I guess a target. Um... I'll want to use this against Druid because a lot of their minions are two defense. But they'll pump them up pretty easily. So I think I have to put out Cargo Guard and hope it doesn't get killed. But I think it will probably get killed. But I think a, a South Sea Captain won't get killed. It's a little early, but since I have two, I will. I will go ahead and do that. Next turn, um, I'll probably have to pay, play the other South Sea Captain if my first one is still alive. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this is the trick. He thinks that 
now that I have a 3-1, that he will be a pushover, he'll be easy to take out. So I have two options. I could do it with the weapon, uh, equip a guy, get a taunt in the way, uh, which is a good one. Or I could play the other one. This pirate will go up in health right away, and he could attack and take one out. And then I will have a 4-1 and a 4-4 four four on the board. Or I will have a 3-6 and a 1. So I'll take the taunt. I like the taunt being deep here. And next turn, I'll take my advice if the pirate is still alive. But right now, I think it's better to leave the South Sea Captain out. Or my only other option is to trade off the one two. Let me think about that. What will I have on the board? He'll have one minion. Uh, it's safer. I don't need to be offensive until after the Juggernaut is out. So, um, early game. If I see an opportunity to overrun him, sure. But I am playing against Druid. Token Druid is great at pumping up their minions. So, even a 1-1 one -one with no talent is a threat. Druid. Um, love the random damage. If I could have gotten it in time. Uh, Harbor Scam. Cool. It would be awesome to get a Harbor Scamp out of a Harbor Scamp. Um, I would like to trigger for these 2-2 two -two, uh, stealths. I'd like to trigger Cannonballs. It's great to get through. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to play two Pirates this turn. So, bigger is better. I can get more damage out this turn if I do this. Better defense, too. Um, I'm going to attack. Because I want more damage on the board and I have a weapon. Ideally, I'm going to be doing Whetstone, Hatchet, Ratchet, uh, Privateer. So I'll have a 2 4 weapon. And then I'll play Blood Cell Raider. All that can happen next turn. It's two pirates. I'll shoot off cannonballs. And I'll be in position to play. Uh, Captain Murakara. Everything's going pretty smooth. It's nice if you can get Captain Murakara before they even get to 7 mana, because then you never have to worry about Mutanus. Hello, Oracle. Nice to meet Nice to see you. This is a very central card in Druid. Um, Agro Druid, super central. Oracle of the Loon. If he's got a board full of things and you can only kill one, that's the one to kill right there. Minions that are cheap get copied. This minion isn't normally cheap, but now he is with his special trigger. So four fives, I can handle this. Um, we will do damage as soon as we play our first pirate. So the, the plan uh, is very similar to the other one. The bias cannoneer throws out two extra damage right away. So that's an option. I think I'm going to play Stone Maul Anchorman. If I do that, mm -hmm. more damage is better damage. We've got a better chance of killing the Oracle if we have more things hitting the board. So, Cannoneer is going first. Now we're going to shoot off some Cannonballs and see what they kill. Okay, Weapon. I can attack that guy. That's how much damage I was going to do anyway. Cannons. Okay. It's not optimal. But we got a 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. He's only got a 2-4. His hero power doesn't allow him to damage. So he would have to use something extra to kill one of these two. So that's good. This must be the way. But he had a lot of mana available to him, and this guy is just easy. So he'll have he'll have a board full of minions. Mhm. Mm These are nice. One last for each spell. One last for each beast. That's a beast. Very good stuff, right? For two or less. The nice thing about this version of the these mo these beasts that are being played in the deck they don't require the um the taunt re ta cost reduction of the other versions of the deck. so all right well i can i can put out 
the captain, it's not going to make much of a difference, is it? I'm looking at how the board is right now. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Let's see if there's any way through this. So, a card is a card. I'll see if I can draw something here. Okay. I can't play it, but um, I can hit that guy at least. So then we're looking at 22 damage. Um... Okay, so in theory, we're good. Um, he's got 22 damage and I'm at 23. There we go. That made the difference, I would say. Pretty good. Oof, savage. So, um, something that I, I really think needs to go in differently. There's a... Gonna, I can't. I can't really recommend a, a mod yet. This this is the the Decker's version. I just have to learn how to pilot it. Really, that's the problem. It's me. I can do better. I'll try harder. Okay, uh, I don't ever want the whetstone hatchet in my hand since the first part of the pirate's uh, quest is going to get it. Um, Defias Cannoneer, if you go second and you have um, Blood Sail Deckhand, we don't. Pardon me. Um, not the best hand, uh, especially going going first. Sienna Sword Eater is this is probably one of the the not bestest hands, but I do like Shiver Their Timbers is in there. Um, perfect card for like a strong, surprising minion. Priest has a lot of high defense things, so good idea if you can put one down. Oh, it's not a priest. What? What is it? Oh, it's a rogue. Of all things. Of all things a rogue. No way I saw this coming. Um, so, I would like to play a minion. Uh, and I would like it to be a pirate. I would like to not have to worry about this wild paw knoll, but it looks like I'm gonna. Uh, this minion could be put down through these two cards working together. Uh, it's not the best move because normally I want to do the freebooter with a weapon, but he'll do more damage this way. Now, there's also a possibility that he's going to play another Knoll, which would be pretty good because if he did, I would use a Sword Eater. Nope. He's going the weapon route. And there you go. You got a weapon. Have fun with it. We both got weapons. So the um, this version of Rogue, this weapon that they use, after you play a poison, gain plus one durability. There are poisons that after you attack, you draw a card. Uh, after you attack, your hero becomes immune. While or yep, plus one attack, your hero is immune. Well, so now he doesn't have to worry. He can attack pirates all day. Um, he can draw based off the attack of his weapon off that cutting uh, class. Normally it costs 5 mana. It's one less per weapon. He must have reduced it somehow. Otherwise through being a non-class card or something. Okay. So rogue crazy draws, right? Crazy. I love it. Um, it's hard to compete with them that quick. So here, um, since we are not going to be able to... Uh, if you're not out running a rogue like card-wise, I'm playing a big, heavy minion 
He's rushed, but it doesn't matter. There's a good chance Rogue will not be able to kill it with just one thing. Rogue will most likely be able to kill it. Um, being as he's got a weapon here, he's immune while attacking, and he can pump stuff up. It's not hard for Rogue to do four damage. So this is most likely this anchor man is gonna be off the air <laughs> real soon. Um but after he hits him the first time, if it's not six damage, he's gonna at least give me a card. Um Oh, okay. Well there's that. So that was a very round number. That six damage though could have gone to me, right? He wouldn't have had any incentive to send it that way if it weren't for the anchor man, so Still, I want to lay my own damage down. I want to get my uh, next turn. I want to get Rokar on the board. So let's just first let's start with draw a pirate. Um, maybe I'll get something cheap. Okay, great. We got a weapon. We got this guy. He would be a big target for the rogue. I don't want to get hit by six damage in the face right now i don't have a taunt so my options are use defias cannoneer and whetstone hatchet to do a little more damage and be a target or just a little more damage with freebooter but uh have a precision shot later on that I could take i think i'm gonna go with cannoneer this is more fun. It's guaranteed to do five damage this turn. Um, and it had the chance of putting Anchorman at the higher attack. This would be better if Anchorman had higher attack. Since he's the rush minion. So right now what we have is one, two, three. Okay, he didn't want to take that. That's set, basically that's seven. That's a seven, three. Basically if you're planning it with a warrior deck. With some crazy damage for four of it. 3-3 three, three with deals crazy legs damage. Oh. Uh, I think this card got nerfed twice. I I don't remember for sure, but Garot. <sighs> He's supposed to get right to the end of his deck and do all this Garot stuff, but I don't think he has he needs for it so I, I'll just okay I'll put this what? Yeah. I'm gonna get Captain Rokara, Rokara anyway so. and I'll armor up Rogue can do crazy damage or crazy spells he's got seven mana coming up I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if at least he's got a Mutanus um, that would put me in a spot but I might still be able to win if he had Mutanus. Mm -hmm. So this deck draws because of the weapon. It's got a lot of durability. He's really got to plan his attacks, though. He doesn't want to have to use more than he would need. Right. Drawing close to the end of the deck. Something to boost spell damage will usually come out uh, in that moment. Alright, so these four twos would be a problem. Even playing Captain Rakara doesn't get me uh, where I need to. It would be nice if I drew um, like a cannoneer would have been nice. So I could try for another cannon here. Maybe clear those guys off the board. Juggernaut. Now we're looking at 14 damage without anything else. A rogue could probably do more. So I want to. I want a cannon here. And I didn't get one, but I got a taunt. So I'll. I'll, I'll enjoy that. The taunt out. That helped a little bit. I could have played Brokara. I know, but I kind of uh, I, I kind of trusted that a cannoneer would be a better option. These four twos, that's ten damage, fourteen right there with nothing else. So um, I don't 
underestimate Rogue. They can play their whole hand out and then do Secret Passage and get a whole new hand. Plus he's doing bleeds and those don't cost him anything, so. Let's see if I made the right move putting out a taunt. There's no armor that comes with playing the captain either. Um, one of those other things that's about Rakar the Valorous is you get the five boost in armor too, so it's kind of that gives it a little buffer. You can't always trust what you see. Not a great card to play. Okay. Well, um, they're revealed now, and I have ways to kill them. So let's do Juggernaut, uh, Shooty, 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 Armor. I don't, I don't know. I don't have the greatest feelings about it right now. Um, I am at sixteen. My opponent is at seventeen, so they have that going. They have eight direct to me so I basically only have six left to work with so they have six cards I think rogue can do six damage from the hand pretty easy with, with six cards yep right there yep three more yep yeah I like Rogue a lot. worthy opponent it's always a worthy opponent so in the corner there's suggestions for what should i keep um hearthstone replay tell me to keep raid the docks of course and the sword eater uh not circus amalgam and not cannoneer so do i agree with that yeah i agree with that sword eater you can play them on uh turn three if we get a turn two, then this is pretty nice. Um, so there's a version, there is a nice mode here. If you play a Blood Sail Deckhand, um, you'll be able to attack on your third turn. And if you have uh, private, you have Cannoneers, then mm, I might consider it. I don't know. Let's see. Turn two would be freebooter for nothing or the deck hand then the freebooter for nothing and then the cargo guard i want i want something on the board i think i'm lucky that he has an empty board so I'm gonna, i don't want that i want to take advantage i want something on the board i spend your other mana attacking my minion Very good. Very good. That was the right move. So, I don't want to do a freebooter without a weapon, but I want to play a pirate. So, next turn, if the board is empty, I will play a guard. And if the board is occupied, I will play a freebooter. And I will attack whatever is occupying the board. Um, these guys are tricky. Razor Wars. They summon something when they die. I still need to play something. I can drain out his hand. I can make him summon things he didn't mean to summon. There's a snake that they usually do not like to put out there unless they, uh, get it pulled in by mistake. So, it's a... Oh, here we go. I'm okay taking some damage. Nothing that can trigger, tri trigger, trigger death rattle, trigger rattle, trigger out, trigger death 
rattle. We will derive. <clears throat> those four ones are sweet. I like those guys. I'll play them in something. Alright, so I got a, a fresh brand new weapon. And... Can't play any two pirates this turn, so... Best move is Freebooter and... Uh, he, he armor up, but I just want to lay down more damage. I should be more concerned about my, my defense, but I'm going to give my he'll most likely leave a 2-2 two -two alone or finish it off with that weapon if he can't power up, so maybe this is the best play. I'll still attack because I want to lay down damage but I should be concerned about my defense against the demon hunter uh, they can really hurt you hard so in this case I want to use my armor as much as possible I'm still gonna I'm still on track for um, getting Rakara out by turn seven ouch turn six is pretty good if you can have two recost minions out so this 3-3 three, three I'd like to take care of, but I could play two if I play the right ones. I'm going to ignore that 3-3 three, three and boost the weapon attack and put out a Blood Sail Raider. I can take out the minions he's got. Oh, cannons. Okay. So we got the 3-1. Makes me sad. If I do attack the 2 4, then I could kill it next turn with my weapon. I could pick it up. Uh, that would be fine. If I don't, then one of my minions might be able to if they're still on the board. I'd rather, I'd rather take it out myself. I don't see myself playing the Sword Eater next turn uh, before I play the 3 2 weapon. It'd be fine to do it either way. If he does something to pump up his defense, I think I can work around that. And this guy, ooh, depending on who he gets, that's great. There is a hero uh, power that's related to this Valfire Deadeye. Uh, if you see this guy on the board, especially after Scrum 5, you'd like him to be gone as soon as possible. So, we have Rush Pirates. That helps. I did say I want to take him off the board, even though there were minions I would probably go after first. That ability was worth getting off the board. When they play their hero um, upgrade, they get every time they play uh, attack with a minion, they get a plus two to attack. And then they play um, a locust spell, summon a bunch of tokens that attack with a rush. So the weapon gets strong, like 20 attack. Uh, if you put out a minion that has a high defense, it's it's like your death. Uh, it's like the worst thing that you could do. All right, so things are looking pretty grim. Um, we can armor up. We can play a sword eater and a cargo guard. It seems like an okay choice. Take out the bigger things first. Um, probably don't want to waste any effort on those other minions. They're going to pop things out anyway. And if I were to armor up, I'd only be gaining two life. And so if I put out a guard, I'm going to get a two, four, and three life. So even though it's not like the best move uh, to target, that he might go for. Got 10 damage, 11. Uh, he or she. 
My opponent has 11 damage available to him without doing anything special, and I'm at 14. So, that's... I got 13 damage. If he doesn't have anything else, then I'll have managed to survive one more turn. What's but... wrong? <clears throat> Not that that made a big difference, right? Um, five. Eleven. I can armor up and I can use Mr. Smite to pick off this, the biggest minion on his side of the board. I don't think that's enough. I could use a rush minion. Take out the biggest minion on his side. And that one can be an armor up. I can trade. I don't think it makes a difference though. That only puts me at five. Well played. Yeah, well. Nice marrow slicer. Ouch. 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 Okay. So that was not that was not a good feels. That was not a good feels. And Hilda versus Gul'dan. Mine is the only way. Arise and carry out our lady's will. Okay, so shiver their timbers. Uh, you would keep this if you were worried about a big minion. Um, Warlock, I'm not quite sure what to worry about early on. I'm thinking they're going to have a lot of minion kills, so I'm not going to need it. Privateer, maybe, but um, as I don't have the coin, I'm probably going to want to go with something cheaper. So let's just keep the docks. Harbor Scamp is ideal for turn two. I would settle for a Blood Sail Raider. The seed is planted. Okay. Deckhand is fine. This kind of Warlock is going to play a lot of lifesteal. Uh, and a lot of things that hurt himself or let him use his hero power cheap. I'm just trying to play pirates as quick as I can. It's going to be card advantage or tempo advantage that is the goal of this game. The warlock is trying to outpace how much damage I can do to make the trade off. If they can get all the way through their deck, that's that's usually a sign that the game is over and it's in their favor. So, um, oh, one more pirate and I'll draw a weapon. Okay. The weapon's going to be free when I do play it, so I guess it doesn't matter which pirate. Same amount of damage. It'll be a one attack weapon. Attack their one one with it. And then I'll attack his face a couple times. That's why I wanted to do that. And I guess it's better to get the weapon out. We're so close. 
Next turn, as soon as we play a pirate, before we even do any kind of attack, it's already going to lay two damage, two things, four damage somewhere. I'm going to call that crazy legs. It's like kick kick. Oh. I think somebody's going to get crazy legged. That's a good card. That's real scalable, too. 5, 10, 15. If you do something to reduce spells. I don't know. Alright, well. I guess I'm going to try and play more minions this turn. Let's see if that takes care of them. If not, I'll use the freebooter to deal the two damage. So I'm looking to be so fast that I don't have to worry about uh, Mutanus. Mutanus costs on seven, and he can he can get my Rukara out of my hand if I play it at the end of the turn and I don't have something balanced for it. If I play Anchorman, I'll have Rukara in my hand at the end of my turn. That that can be a threat. That can be a problem for me. So. I may want to be careful. You don't want it to be the only thing in your hand. So this would be better. Oh. I, uh, this is... I know it looks like I should probably do something about that. Um, I could, but I would be losing the rush advantage, so, I mean, it probably would have been a, a better idea to try this a little bit differently. I think that what I'll do is take this uncomfortable trade here, I have a free board and a little bit more health. Um, now I'll play Captain Rokara. If he has Mutanus... This would be the perfect time to coin and use Mutanus. Okay. Well, he's no fun either. Oh, man. I don't like that guy at all. Boy. Well, that's that's too much for me. I can't, I can't take care of that. I just have to hope that I don't die with that guy. He could do 16 damage. Boy, boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom, 16 damage. And that's if he doesn't boost his attack in any way. Well, I'm at higher than 16 health. For what that's worth, I'm at 26. So. Oh. Okay. Uh, they love Wind Fury. Warlock, um, will play these Flash Giants, and they'll have, um, and a company minion that makes adjacent minion you win fury they do that <laughs> okay yes yes i got him fools okay well i can do i'm dead i'm so i'm a goner yep mm hmm hmm well, how much damage can I can I deal? Maybe that maybe that will make me feel better. I will grant you oblivion. Okay. Still not strong. I'm gonna armor up. That brings me to fifteen. Fifteen. And that's just right there at sixteen twenty four just hanging out. Everybody gets everybody gets a chance to eat. I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. Lokalar, the Ice Lord. Rush, Wind Fury. How does an Ice Lord rush and Wind Fury? He's so fast, right? 
I mean, but you guess if he's not influenced by ice, he would be fast on ice. That would be a big advantage, right? I'm not doing great. Oh my gosh, I've just realized how great I'm doing. Okay. <clears throat> this is a good warrior deck, though, right? Isn't it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Okay, so no Amalgam, no Cannoneer, uh, Cargo Guard, meh, I want, I want to get cheaper stuff, I want, uh, Harbor Scamp, I want Blood Cell Deckhand, I don't want Whetstone Hatchet, that's terrible, I don't want Mr. Smite, that's like, these are the last things that I want, these are the absolute last things, I don't want any of these. Oh, this is going to be rough. It's going to be so rough. I have a coin. I'm not going to use it. Nope. I don't need it. And then, of course, yep. I find that to be a waste if he doesn't do something else. Oh, that was beautiful. That was well, that was really nice. Alright. So, we got Harbor Scamp. We top decked him. That was convenient. And nice to have a Whetstone Hatchet just so his tour guides couldn't gang up. He wants to kill this minion, he's gonna have to do it with a spell. Mm -hmm. Make him earn it, right? Um, I don't need to boost the attack. I just need to be able to take some more damage, so... This is nice to use on turn 5, when you can gain the full amount from it. Right now, I think I'm just gonna play... a Privateer. I've already used this weapon a couple times, but I'm not going to get another one, so I guess I should be more cautious with it, but this is uh, the problem with the deck is that it usually only plays one weapon so that you get that weapon that you want to draw. You could put two of the same weapon in. And I would recommend you either do Whetstone Hatchet or something cheap because you want it to be on curve. I can play only one uh, minion this turn. If I play the Blood Sail Raider and armor up, sure, I'm good because I got to uh, spend all my mana. But it's probably better because I can't play two pirates this turn and next turn. Probably better to play one of the three mana cost ones and not armor up. So, I'll attack. And if one of these captains got BV off it, I'll put him out. Now next turn, I can put out the other cargo guard and blood sail raider. Or the other captain and blood sail raider. I've got options here, so... Plus, that pirate's a big target, so it's likely to keep his board empty. <clears throat> so, sort of an awkward play. I didn't spend all my mana. Doesn't look good. That might be a tell to my opponent, who knows that two-cost mana minion and a three-cost are going to be what I, I could pull off next turn. This is this is a great one. Uh, so uh, give the hero the attack. Unfortunately, I don't think that is going to make the raider any stronger. He's still going to be a four three. She. Uh, and you got to attack because it's plus two this turn extra. Really not really the best option. I was a little gung-ho on that. It would have been better to play the guard a while back, actually. But um, 
guard first might have been nice just because it's going to be a target, but I only have so many times left I'll be able to initiate an attack before Captain Mercara. This turn I'm going to cargo guard and South Sea Captain, so... I don't really have a lot of defense uh, in my hand. Uh, Mr. Smite could make next turn real interesting, depending on how much damage my opponent opts to take. Uh, if he's at 16 health or less at the start of his turn, I'll, I'll win just from that alone. But... Okay, so... Um, I think that he may have bitten off more. I don't know. He hasn't used his hero power yet, and it's not going to... Oh, it will. So using his hero power will bring him back up to 15. Pirates with me, Captain Rokara. I won't be able to kill anything he's got on the board. So let's do these two and armor up. Next turn, I'll be able to play Captain Rokara. And if I have anything on the board, health, depending, all that. So at least that turn, I was able to take the maximum advantage of the armor. The three off of him, and the two off of my hero ability. Okay, so going back up to 15. Captain Mercara will... Give Mr. Smite a pretty big advantage. So, as long as I can survive the turn that would come after Captain Makara going into play, I'll be alright. won't be decked by then, but I might be bashed in the face by then. Hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm looking at some Wind Fury. Uh, stay the course. Pirate's life for me. That's it. Thanks. You have my thanks. You get accustomed to the snake. You get accustomed to the snake. Strike. Then strike harder. So, I'll tell you what this um, really needs. This man, the cannons. That's what this deck really needs. Check this out. What do we got here? There we go. And it needs man the cannons and Rokara. I want want to use Rokara in there. There's only a few decks that are using both those things. Oh, this one is using Provoke. Okay, so this is not number one ever, but this one is using Provoke we have here. Yep, yep, like it, like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I didn't see everything, but I liked what I saw, so I'm going to try this one out. I like this more, I think. So, um, man, the cannons uh, is nice for doing one damage to everything. 
usually there's a trade involved before because uh, it, it'll it'll do damage to your side of the board too. But if you're taking out a big taunt, you just do your trades and then aim at the big taunt. Okay. Uh, so Blood Cell Deckhand is a fine turn two. South Sea Captain is okay for turn three. Uh, whatever would come out on turn four would give you the weapon, and it'd be free. So, looks great. Look at that. Mr. Smite is not... Hey, thanks. Provoke. Choose a friendly minion. Enemy minions attack it. It's tradable. It's convenient. It doesn't cost anything. Alright, so every turn we have options here. Um, next turn we could do a South, sea, South sea Captain. That'll do a little more damage. Um, followed by a Sword Eater. I'll already have the 3 2 Sword. So I'll just attack with that when I have it. Oof. It would be nice to be able to lay down the attack now, but... Okay. Well, the weapon is a little early. So... It'll go out first, I guess. I'll attack this one, two that I can pick off next turn first. I'll put out this pirate that I'm expecting his brute will take out his null. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of expecting that unless he does something else tricky. And if he does, the sword eater can give me a weapon that I can use for null. Dang. Shoot, dang. He got it. Um, so I'm just going to have to sword eater. Yep. Rogues don't usually love taunts. He's used one of his gnolls. Ain't got no more weapon. Okay. Alright. Trust no one. I'm too law abiding. To be a pirate. That's the, I think that's why I'm having trouble today. I'm too a law abiding of a citizen. Give me that. Not what I want. <laughs> so it's one damage. So now it'll be three damage. There you go. Two pirates. Well, we'll do uh, the Ratchet Privateer and the Storm Winter are our only options. So we might as well, we know we're going to armor up. We know we're going to have that. What? So what would we rather do? Give our weapon plus one attack or plus two attack this turn? I think next turn uh, it might be useful to be able to attack something myself manually. I won't, I'm unlikely to have another weapon. So... I think I'll attack. My weapon plus one. Makes very little difference on that. Armor up. Um, looking at taking some damage this turn. Uh, Rogue could easily just equip a weapon and trade their 2 1 uh, plunderer. <laughs> or they could use Arcane Overflow and get a 5 5. I like that. I like that choice better. I was going to suggest just Dagger Mastery that would free them up for three more mana to do things, but... Okay. They're doing just fine at being a rogue. Let's see if that helps at all. <laughs> okay. Rogue, I will make it easy on you. I, I apologize for wasting your time. 
sorry. Quiet between rounds. Aww. Oh, that's more serious. All right, so um, we don't have a weapon early on. South Sea Captain is for later abuse. Tim, cargo guards okay. Uh, raid the docks is just fine because we want that. So I think the only thing we really want, um, we don't even really want cargo guard. Just leave it. Hopefully it will one of our ones or twos. There we go. Scamp. If you get harbor scamp, you're, you're pretty good. This usually sets you up for turn three. And we got the coins, so... Under, uh, with this kind of hand, if there was a Blood Sail deck hand in here, I would have coined and played it on turn one. In a box? Oh, pirate stuff. There we go. He may outdraw himself. It's possible he got eight cards in his hand. It's pretty good. Um, they do have a minion that costs way cheaper if they have ten. All right, so I could. Uh, oh, I could just get my. I'm gonna do this now. Next weapon is cheaper. Uh. Go ahead and give me a weapon. <clears throat> All right. And equip that weapon and attack with that weapon. Very good. That was pretty good for turn three. All right? I didn't even use the coin yet. Next turn, if I draw a two cost minion. Uh, I could uh, shoot the cannons off too. That would be pretty quick. More bones to looking nice, looking nice. Okay, that's that's workable. Okay. Well, this still gives me plus two in my attack. Now. I think the only question is, am I taking out the 5-2 myself? <sighs> I really don't want to. But, it's okay. You know, a lot of their health gain comes from killing my minions anyway. So, I got to attack. I got to do damage. It's a pretty simple trade. That was a good way to use it, but I am about to equip another weapon. And so this snake is a 3-4. I could kill it a couple different ways, but the way that I would normally want to do it is from a stone mole anchor man. An anchor man would just come in and pick him off. Once I trigger um, my death, my rattle here, though, my, my, rattle, my reward, um, I'm going to shoot two damage off randomly. So I do think it's better to make this trade ahead of time. And then when I play this fine fellow, he's less likely to uh, do two damage to the snake and nothing else off to the side. But I really actually feel more hitting him with a weapon, so I'm going to play this instead. Okay. 
hopefully one of the cannonballs picks off his battle his battle neo fight. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Land and damage. He's on his part one still. I'm on my part three. He's about to trigger his part two though. And his parts lead to him healing. So that's good. Um, we don't have a two cost. So we're not going to be able to uh, to get Rakar until turn seven. Oh, okay. Right, he got another one of those weapons. Good job. So I can equip another weapon, but I won't be able to trigger because he did another battle. Another neophyte. I guess I will do... I'd like to draw a card in hopes of getting a 2 draw. 3 4. Oh, so good. I'm going to go face. Uh, this this card I have not had an opportunity to use many times. Uh, and I have never had a chance to Grand Slam something. So, I'm going to. Try to, to fit this in if it makes sense. I really feel like it's best to trigger Juggernaut first before I don't have any two drops. So. I'm doing it. And I'm going to hit that 5 4. So I don't gain armor anymore, but now I just do damage. Okay. Uh, I've got a weapon. I've got I have eight mana, so I'll be able to play a three cost card and do Cop Mercara. That means Cannoneer. Or Cargo Guard, safe options. Or I could coin and sword eater for some reason if I needed a different weapon. Or a taunt. Let's see how it plays out. I see new user in there. Hello. Cult Neophyte, now that's the third one we've seen made possible through a raised dead. So, Viper and Neophyte off the raised dead. This gets the benefit when he's at 10 cards. He's not quite there yet. This does lifesteal, so I want to be careful about how I attack that guy. Um, Honorable gets a Three. Let's see. Six. Let's just do this. We've got eleven, and then we'll shoot the face, and then do the attacks, and I think we'll be good. Yep. Just attack as I can direct. With the unstoppable force. There you go. All right. Okay. Okay, there you go. I didn't use um, man the cannons in that either, so what are you gonna do, right? Let's play that one again. I liked it. All right, can come in. Mean. Pennyless Paladin. Anhilda versus Geras. Now you're sailing on my seas. Arise and carry out our lady's will. 
Oh, okay. Am I supposed to keep Rokara if I see it in my opening hand? Not really, right? That's too far out. With coin, I would keep um, a sword eater. That's about as high as I go. Okay, so man, the cannons would be good um, for paladin, most likely. Would be like the that'd be the one I'd keep it for. This is a little heavy on the direct damage, which might help in the mirror match. There is Stonewall Anchorman be a good threat sometimes. Trades like this, where it might leave his minion at just one health. Uh, I'm going to go face as much as I can. See what kind of trades he makes. He has the coin, uh, so... Now would be a time for a four mana minion. Probably Sword Eater would be one of the better moves. Still good. Still a fine move there. Mm -hmm. Good trade. Okay. Interesting. Interesting move there. So, man, the cannons um, would clear what's what's on the board, and I can put out Blood Sail Raider as a two-three. Um, it's probably like the best situation. I have no pirates though. I gotta play a pirate, right? Um. I'll get a weapon. It could have been used to kill the 2-1, but then an awkward trade for the 3-2. At least now he's got to pull something out of his hand to kill that 2-3 I've got. Let's see. I'm not really where I'd like to be. These uh, Shiver Their Timbers are good. Uh, that 2, two mana, uh, getting rid of 5 you know, mana worth of minions off the board. I don't have any problems with uh, manly cannons, but I don't need that much kill on my deck. I, I need pirates to trigger the uh, created distraction part of the quest. Okay. Uh, so got a pirate. Good. Got a weapon. I don't need it yet. Let's just shoot that. Um, privateer. I don't want to take that damage. I'll armor up. And I don't need to equip this weapon unless I'm going to attack. And I don't have any pirates to boost, so... It's not being all that tricky to, to lay it out there. If, I, if I'm just doing one damage with it. Uh, some cards that are in here that could uh, go in and out or be subbed. Provoke. Provoke is nice. It doesn't cost any mana. And then uh, if you've got a minion, you don't have it as a charge. Um, but you would like to use it to do some kind of damage. Like if you got an 8-8, you know, Ragnaros or some, uh, some such kind of minion that, that once it's out, you'd like to see it hit something. Maybe it has an ability that when it takes damage like a frenzy, enemy minions attack it, it'll trigger its frenzy. You know, that's nice. Doesn't cost anything. 
stone maul anchorman. You can attack with him. You can use it again after the attack is over. All right, so we've got. We're gonna shoot some cannonballs out when we, as soon as we bring in the captain. Let's see who he gets. Couldn't couldn't have gone worse. Um, all right, so we'll do. Shiver, there's Hembers, the one that generates armor. Armor up. And about the only thing that I can think to do here is uh, to equip the, the hatchet and attack this 3-2 just to ensure that he uses it to kill my uh, South Sea Captain. It's not a good idea. Um, sure isn't. But I got the health to spare, so I'm going to try it out. He was probably going to do it anyway. But now, I feel like he's going to commit to that. There's no telling if he just had a... You know, like a cannon that he was just... Okay, me on the cannon. I'll just... I'll go ahead and do that. Keep my minion on the board. Hey, not bad. Now he's still strong enough to kill him if I have to. Uh, yes, that's still a desperate way to go. Shouldn't have done it that way, right? Why wouldn't I have done that? Boy, oh boy. I'm very Nubin. Very Nubinston. Very new. My, my, hello, my name is Barry Nubinston. The uh, New England Nubinsons. Glory. I'm here for the gold. So, when you're behind like this without the card advantage, uh, Juggernaut will will could help you to catch up. Juggernaut against Juggernaut, usually the first thing that happens is who gets Captain Ricard out first, because usually that's the big threat you got to take out. Uh, I don't have any way to take that out. So that's step one. It would be to get rid of that. Okay, neat. Let's see. Um, I don't have enough mana to use my hero power. And then this. That would be nice to gain the extra bit. But I'm going to go ahead and... Hero power. Alright. Once I attack the minion, it'll attack his face. I'm going to go with the South Sea Captain, because he's going to take at least the two additional damage that they would have done off the board. Uh, I wasn't going to kill Rokara, so even putting the 9-2 in, which would have been, maybe would have helped if my armor were way higher, or I could stand the kill, it might be a good idea to attack a much stronger minion, because it'll hit his face. Okay, that's, but I'm not going to get an opportunity to. That was all very nicely done by turn 8, Rikara, nice good solid board. And he used Provoke, he used Captain Rikara, uh, looks like just the Whetstone Ratchet, I didn't see any other weapons in there. I didn't see Sword Eater and Anchorman, but that does not mean that they weren't in there. All right, so after a few games here, I realized that uh, man the cannons was not what was keeping me from winning. And losing. I do want to propose a bit of an edit, though, because I think... This Ringmaster's Baton is a lot better than Whetstone Hatchet, so I'm just going to swap it out. It doesn't fit as right on turn three under those certain circumstances when it costs one mana. But if you use two minions that make something cheaper, it could just line up that way. A 
and Hilda versus Andue. A just cause is always worth fighting for. Arise and carry out our lady. Let me see who's in my chat now. All right, so you don't want the weapon ever. You do want Arbor Scam. If you have this weapon, this, I like it. If you have this weapon, Ring Master's Baton, uh, when you're attacking with it, Circus Amalgam gets the bonus too. So I don't want the weapon, but I do want the Amalgam. I want them for later. Sounds silly. It's uh, it's not like a mid-range thing. I do plan on playing them around turn 5 or 6. So... This is good. A good turn uh, one here, if I drew the deck hand, would be good. I'd play it. Hey, um, I see you, Sopics. Okay, did you sub those cards? I see your text in there. Sopics. Raid the docks. I ideally next turn I'm gonna be doing freebooter. Freebooter freebooter is nice because if you have the coin turn two, you'll be able to pick off one of his minions, hopefully, whatever he puts out. But it's also nice to play harbor scam. Playing Pheasant and Rust Riot Viper. Pheasant. Is that Pheasant um the two one drawer? That guy. Alright, Harbor Scamp is a great turn too. He doesn't have anything on the board that's threat. Turn three, I'm gonna get to play Freebooter if I want. Privateer would be good later on once I have a weapon. So I'm gonna go ahead and coin and blood sale deck hand because I already have my next turn planned out. Turn three is Freebooter, and turn four is the Baton and a Privateer. Just replace Captain Bootleg. Okay, so um, Captain is often used. Hey, if you got any other pirates, um, you know, you, if you re regular wins, regular play, um, you'll unlock some of the cards. I forget if Captain is one of the unlockable ones, but I think he is. Um, if you go to crafting, uh, you should see what it can take to unlock it, or achievements. Uh, you'll see if you get a card out of it. All right, so Scorpid. Um, ooh, yuck, poisonous. Um, we already said we were Freebooter, so we'll do Freebooter. I'll take two of the damage. Backhand will take the other two, and the Priest can take the other two to the face. Uh, this two three four uh priest deck a lot of fun they shuffle in a card that wins them the game for 10 mana so they have the most trouble playing five costs mana cards rally really early um we already said this turn is baton and privateer Something in my hand is getting... See, this is... Oh, jeez. Um, the Amalgams are like Voltron. So here's how this trick works. Amalgams are all minion types. So first the pirate gets it. Check. And then what else? Was there a beast that got it? Amalgams a beast. So there you go. Beast got it. How about a mech? So if you have Amalgams, they're good because they're all minion types. Um, there is a pirate that destroys a beast. Oh, what is his name? Oh, boy. I don't have my collection up. Uh, you could put one of those in. It's usually tech. At level 54, okay. It's a great time to be a pirate. Oh, under your profile. Uh, if you're if you're at the regular... There's like a scroll from the screen. Okay. So, he's got a 2-2. Two, two. I have a weapon that does 2 damage. This is super convenient because next turn is when I'm going to want uh, Sword Eater uh, to come in after this weapon is exhausted. Face. Face. I could play Sword Eater now. 
Um, it's a little early, but I'm j I could just play Circus Amalgam. He's already ready, and he's and two damage is gonna go on that priest. He's not ready for that, right? Big old taunt. Uh, some things that are nice. Its defense is higher than its health. A lot of the time, the priest you were you want a minion to be four attack. So they can't do uh, some of their high and low uh, health kills on it. 6-7 brings me right out of range on that guy. Um, I'm, I, I'm, ideally, I'm wanting to be playing Captain Rokara next, next turn. But I don't have the right amount of mana on this. So let's just do Circus Amalgam straight up. Face attack again. Mm -hmm. uh, sword eater. Nothing left to do but armor. And next turn, if I draw a two cost pirate, no matter what it is, I'll play it. Just because it'll let me play Captain Rakara on the same turn. Uh. Do you know how to dust cards yet? Have you gotten pack for dailies and all that kind of stuff? Light cannot exist. Sorry, there's you know there's an audio lag, so I'll just type back to that. Okay. Uh, Okay. Hey, there's a card. So this is usually, right here, this is one of the harder cards for priests to get. If you see the spirit card on turn five, they're usually feeling pretty relieved, but as you can tell, um, he's on his seven and eight cost. So he got, that was the last one he was able to get. Um, I would love to just do this. I think I'll do the unstoppable force thing. I think that won't be lethal, but it won't be, he won't be happy about it. So the way the way Rokara works, once I got this weapon, I attack his minion, it hits his face with the same amount of attack it had. So it's a lot like being Trample. So he's still taking five. Very close, very close. He's definitely not gonna get a seven and an eight cost spell out on the same turn. We're looking at big taunts. Uh, healing both of us at the same time. That's the kind of things that are going to make the most difference for the priest. Better cheap mana stuff. They like to use the restore card to um, gain health and draw. Renew. If you can renew, restore three health, and then get a spell that gives you more health. There we go. That's both. Uh, so, Gift of the Nauru is nice because it's cheap. Even though it heals both sides of the board, it does you and all your minions, too. Okay. Alright, so we are at... All I need is a uh, up it, so I'm going to do Cannoneer. Because it's going to lay down two extra damage. I want to do two extra damage. Um, attacking. Attacking. The weapon won't matter after I play the captain. He's at three. My hero power isn't going to make friends. Uh, and I don't know if I missed lethal or not. Actually, I wasn't paying attention to Mr. Smite. Sometimes I think I miss lethal, big time, big time miss lethal. Um, the correct move was Blood Sail Raider and Mr. Smite, because Blood Sail Raider would have been a 7-3, and Mr. Smite would have been a 7-6, and I would have had the 5 attack. So instead of winning like I was supposed to last turn, um, now I have to see if the opponent might be able to figure out a way to come back. Whew. 
Um, since I'm streaming, are you still in the room? I'll go over some of the pirate cards you might want to look at. Great, why not do it either way, right? So... Let's just look at options. Since it's uh, a lot of it's pirates that we're looking at, we'll just stay in crafting. So, Blood's Backhand, do you have two of these? You can go ahead and start your own like new deck thing if you want. Just make it a brand one. Uh, excellent. All right, so you do? You do now? You got them all? Except the captain and the bootleg. Alright, so. Alright, do you have a Galaka Glutton? All right, this guy is all right. You can put this one in. Uh, if it it's not one, it doesn't have to be one of your beasts. Preferably, it's not. Um, you want to play only pirates. Do you have a minion in your deck? You want it to be a pirate. So if you're using, You're using peasant? Is this what you're talking about? Yeah, this, um, this goes an aggro druid. This goes, um, in a different kind of deck. You really don't want to put this in pirate. It's not a pirate. That's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, you know, there's, I know it sounds silly, uh, you know, to just say because it's not a pirate it doesn't belong in there and you're well i don't have all the pirates right so look at some cards that you might want to use as a substitute do you have the circus amalgam this one right here okay So we'll just put together the same deck. I'll, I'll put together the same one that you're doing. Oop. You said you had the same thing that I had, only... <clears throat> only no captains, and... Was it no freebooters? Oh, Rokara. Well, you can do this with Rokara. I like them, but you can do this without Rokara. Captain. I hear you say bootleg. I don't think bootleg is actually. It is the free booter, right? Is that the one you're calling bootleg? Or am I missing something here? Okay. All right, well, that is going to be pretty core because those are the three cost ones, but. All right, you got Ringmaster's Baton. I like that one, but the preferred, um, preferred weapon is the cheap one cost, the hatchet. The reason you use the hatchet, if either one is okay. If you want to use, if you have the hatchet, use the hatchet instead of the baton. All right. You only want one because it's meant when you trigger that you draw a weapon. And the weapon that you draw, you have options. 
just to show you some of the other options that have been in this deck before. The Baton. The Outrider's Axe. The Blacksmithing Hammer. That's made it in there too. The tradeability of it. If you draw it early game, you can trade it off still before you draw it as part of your quest reward. That's the advantage to the hammer. Plus a 5-3 is a good weapon. Uh, and it usually costs on 3 or 2 by the time you're ready to play it. Uh... One of the downsides to using too many weapons in your deck is if you draw them after you've already got Rakara out, then you know, it's just another weapon that you, you get a new one every turn. Um, Outrider's Axe is good if you have problems drawing. You can put it in there because it increases your likelihood of drawing a pirate. Yep. The hatchet. Alright. It's two hatchets. Take out the... Wait. You're using the, not the Outrider's Axe, you're using the, the one-cost hatchet, right? And you don't really need two copies, but since you have a shortage of some of the cards you need, we'll put two in for now. Now let's look at other pirates. <clears throat> if you've got Amalgams, I will draw both of your Amalgams. Because you have a mech... And a dragon. He's not a pirate. He's an option. I wouldn't normally use him. But it's just something that he will do. If you happen to have Ringmaster Watley. You can try him out. He might be an interesting piece of tech. Since you don't have the Freebooter. Have you tried crafting the Freebooter. To see if you can get him. He's pretty cheap. You just click on this crafting button right here. He'd be blue and ghostly. If you have him. You do have Freebooter? Hey, even better. Alright. Freebooter it is. Don't have the two cost. Raider. Blood Sail Raider. Freebooter. Fog Sail Freebooter. Come on now. They're, they got close names too. Oh, uncraftable. Okay. Well, uh, since you haven't unlocked them, I'll take the booters out. And the Blood Sail Raiders, do you have those? All right, how about these gluttons? How many of them do you have? If you have two, we'll put those in since we're really experiencing a hurting. And, uh... With Multicaster, this would be nice if we had a lot of spell schools that we casted from, but Pirate really doesn't um, use a lot of the different spell schools that they have. Holy. You can see what school of spell come at the bottom. If there's any kind of placard there, it belongs to a school. Nature. Frost. Frost. So those are the different spells. Okay. So is there any... Is this deck what you've got right now? Or is there something different? Or do you have a full 30 card deck? Now. Oh, okay. Let me get this. I don't know if that's going to work. Let me see. 
Um, no, I don't, I don't think that. Uh, there is the code at the, uh, have you not done, have you not done a, a copy before? At the very bottom, when you want to copy, that's fine. That's okay. Let me show you. So we've got, um, this is the deck we were working on here. It's, it's incomplete right now. So I'm just going to put, um, I don't think you have the ring master, uh, I'll put two South Sea Scoundrels in there. I don't know if you have those. Probably not. No. Warrior cards. Um... Let's go with... Give me a second. We'll look through some other options. Maybe something just to help you play the minions quicker. Um, man the cannons. Do you have any of those? Put two of those in. Those are good. Man the cannons and shiver their timbers. This is so. This deck here, I go copy. I go to paste in the text what I've got. Uh, you got to make sure it looks like you can't put all the text in there. So um, you want like a text document. You want to open like a new text document, paste it in, and it's only the letters at the end. That you want to want to use. So, for example, I've got uh, just the deck code here. If you copy that when you're in Hearthstone in an empty new deck, it will ask you if you want to import that. But, um... This is this is how it is. So let me know if that works for you. If you've got the same deck that I've got, and then I'll go in and we'll just try a game, see how it works out. Different. I'll put mods so I know which one it is. Okay. Okay, great. And is it the complete deck? It has you have every card in there. I don't have the Rust Rot Vipers in, I don't think. Maybe that's a different a different part of what we've got. I didn't go that way. Okay, so raid the docks first turn, second turn, blood sail deck hand. Uh, we don't need the anchor man. If we had the coin, we might consider it, but usually you don't want to plan that far out ahead. Okay. This is this is normally this is a bit of a problem. Um, but we're going to try something different this time. So, Whetstone Hatchet will be made one cheaper if I use Blood Sail Deckhand. It's going to be my second turn. I'm going to have two mana. It doesn't really benefit me. I don't really care that it's going to be cheaper. So, I am going to play the Hatchet first. Uh, I'll attack. Something will get stronger. And then I'll play that. Now, the second Hatchet that we get when this... Uh, triggers will be free also it's pretty uncommon for pirate to play two hatchets so um, the opponent will will probably figure something out uh, something is going on this early now I'm glad they went face because we have options on what we're gonna kill 
Uh, I want to do a Defias Cannoneer a little early because when I attack with my weapon, two cannonballs will get shot. Hopefully one of his elementals will be killed and I'll pick off the other one with my remaining pirate. Oh, it was both. Even better. Um, normally, I wouldn't play a cannoneer this early, but I saw the opportunity to avoid taking a lot of damage. And um, uh, Elemental Shaman can do three damage super easy. Just about every card they have does three damage. So putting out a minion with three defense is like saying, here's the next thing that you're going to kill this turn. Uh, four damage is a little more out of reach. So, um, I want to use this privateer after I get my fresh, brand new weapon. So I'm going to play Stormwind Freebooter. I'm going to be doing three damage. Get my new weapon. I'm not going to bother playing it. But it doesn't cost any mana anyway. And all it is is an opportunity for somebody else to knock that weapon out of my hand. So if you have a weapon that costs zero, don't play it at the end of the turn. Uh, wait till you actually need it. I've got this pirate coming out next turn. Um, then if I have a two cost um, pirate, I'll be able to play both of them. Okay, good. I'm glad you got this stuff too. This is... This is super nice. This wind chill that they get off their little uh, elemental, the the wailing vapor wind chill. Where'd they get that from? Hmm. I like the, the minion that gives the wind chill. All right, so um, I'm equipping a weapon. Hold on. Three damage. I want to kill that gonna attack me and then my weapons aren't gonna be very useful it's a bit of a problem I got a taunt minion that guy's pretty cool yeah I'll do the taunt minion. Uh, I'll attack because why not I'll put out the taunt minion because I don't want to get frozen and his minion is not big enough to take it out so that's fine that's fine Oh, you play Yu-Gi-Oh too? Is Legends of Runeterra um, an, a MOBA? Or is it um, a game more like Battle Rounds? Okay. So does he have any beasts out here? No, I do though. So, I don't really want to destroy my own beasts. Weapon. Now, there's going to be two damage done to two different things. So, this is pretty nice. I think that I can expect that one of these guys might get picked off. Okay. Okay, now I got an attack of two. I could take out that three two and he's still got a guy in the way before he can freeze me, but his health is so low, I'd really rather I'd really rather just take him out if I can. So I'm gonna go face and I'm gonna go to the three two because I'm actually taking a minion off the board. He's gotta go through um, a taunt still to get to it to get to me I'll be able to play the gut the glutton easier if I'm not killing one of my own minions too so he's not letting that that amalgam stay on the board and his big goal like I said was to freeze me it still would have been nicer if he had a beast um, I could lay down more damage but not enough to kill him, and then I'll lose Mr. Smite. So even though I have a way to do damage, I'm not going to do damage, and I'm going to take more damage than I really want to. Uh, what I really need is just 
another pirate. Uh, if I would have done nothing, if I wouldn't have played this card here, I'd have been able to do 9 damage next turn. With just what was in my hand, so... Probably shouldn't even have played what I did play. What's your dog sound? I'm not sure I understand that question. Maybe there's something visually you're seeing on my on my Twitter from. Okay, so now I do win. All right. Uh, oh. Ah. Oh, can't do anything with this guy. Oh. Mm. Oh. Now I can attack with him. So, just enough to win. And I have never seen this Beering Glaishar uh, really be the one that, that got me. But it's a good card to get a lot of minions on the board. I haven't seen too much of Blizzard, uh, of Frost, Elemental Shaman. But I like the Elemental Shaman. I like how Elemental Shaman so fast that they don't even use their quest. Even though they use overload cards too. So that worked. That worked just fine. Um, a little bit of a caution. Um, one of our own pirates getting in our way. I guess that's that's something that can happen. But I'm looking forward to somebody else having a beast for me to go like like for face hunter. You know, that would be good. But I haven't seen any face hunter yet. Um, I don't want Shiver Me Timbers. Uh, Cargo Guard is okay for turn three. Um, hmm, I'm going to get nothing for turn two, though. Um, I should be a little more concerned about turn two than three, right? Looking at how many cards I've got in the deck that are turn two. I have six cards that I could have or draw. Oh, there we go. That's the that's the best card for turn two. Most most of the time, Harbor Scamp is your best card, unless you're reacting to something. Harbor Scamp is a nice, safe, empty board. Put it out. I'm just gonna move this tick over one to the right. And get another card. Kind of like a Paladin ability. You know, you just get a minion. You still got the same number of cards after. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Busy fingers over here. Um, sometimes Pirate plays Rancor, where it's uh, four mana, does two damage to all minions, and you get two armor for everything it killed. Uh, I'm just going to play a throw off. <laughs> Next turn. I'll play Defias Cannoneer, and I'll trigger the draw weapon, I'll have a whetstone hatchet, and I'll attack a minion, and trigger the Cannoneer. So I could, I could easily just shoot something and wipe off those 1-1s, one but the Cannoneer, there's a lot of synergy there, and the mana is lined up right for it. So, I will grant you oblivion. Okay. You can do board control until you get Rakara. Pirate Warrior is it's a Pastafarian's deck, I'm telling you. If you're a Pastafarian, this is what you should be playing. I don't want to say that. I don't want to. I don't want to push beliefs like that. If you're a Pastafarian, you can play whatever deck you like. That's okay. But I would advise it. I would recommend it if you. <laughs> if you've been touched by the noodly appendage of the flying spaghetti monster, I would recommend this deck. Okay, so man the cannons is nice. It's going to do three damage to a minion, one to all the other minions. Both my minions will survive that. So I could do that. 
And we'll see if some cannonballs maybe wouldn't wouldn't be a problem. Uh, alternatively, we could just shiver their timbers. Let's just go face everything. We'll take the 1-1 one, one off the board. We'll see if any of the cannonballs hit. Any of the cannonballs hit that guy. Just one would be ideal. Take him out. And play the next pirate. And then we'll shoot two more cannonballs out. It's a little reckless because everything's on the board, but, you know, pirates, right? I don't usually have, um, like, so much kill in my hand, but it's coming in handy. He's going for a more conventional um, directed. He doesn't have, like, a board wipe. So. That gives me some opportunities. More minions. Uh, now, we're not using Pirate Captain in this, so... Um, you know, the opportunity for a little bit of more damage to be put out. Nice, right? So, let's do the damage that these guys would do first. Because I'm... There's not going to be a turn after this. There we go. Okay. All I need to do... Is two damage to his face with cannons. So... I want to make sure he has as few minions as possible left on the board by the time I attack him. So I'm going to take out that minion and the other two minions he's got. I'm also going to lose my minions. But now when I play my Cannoneer, he's only got two possible things to shoot at. He shot at the worst thing he could shoot at. Uh, okay. Well. So that could have been game, but it was not. But um, the game's not over. If I get a two-cost pirate or less, I'll be able to play my captain. Um... Or I could just get a Sword Eater. He's got 10 cards. So he is going to burn whatever he's got. I do not want... Um, Mutanus to take away my guy. But at the same time... I'd like to have a weapon and a minion. If he plays Mutanus, he'll be tapped out. So that'd be fine. I'll have Captain Run. I didn't realize how early in the game it is. Um, he still has his quest line to go through. But I don't get to see Tamsin too often, so this is fun. Okay. Okay, lifesteal. Good one. Good one. He just got down to nine cards. Just just enough. Draw a pirate. At least as an option to see what what the choices were. Okay. This is better. No point in attacking. So this is kind of be right here. I got eight cards uh, left between him and doing his damage. Like, I'm taking his lifesteal. I'm taking his uh, pain death draws. My health is not where I would love it to be at either, but at least I have the Juggernaut. Sometimes the Juggernaut can do remarkable things like gore howls and... Mr. Smite and stuff like that, so. Or Bolwark. That's a good one. Let's 
see. Does he have any beasts? No. I do know that I don't take a lot of damage when I got this shieldio on. <laughs> Oh, uh, I like Control Warlock, though. That's why. The Swiss Army Knife. So these guys are pretty core. The Bristlebacks, um, but they got to be at less than 10 cards. Tamsin, when late game, this card with any any shadow spell that get, gets you life. Uh, they use it for, what, Drain Soul? Um but you can use it for the, the I like the the destroy game three life uh, kill that they they swap it for okay so I'm still alive I guess I don't know why Did that was that in was that was that on purpose all right uh, that trade um, armor Attack the only thing I can attack without dying. Put out a taunt. And I don't know. that. This would be the biggest target on the board normally. But since I can't stand to get hit anymore. I guess this is the only thing that if he doesn't have the cards in his hand to do anything it would take these two minions to kill that and then he could do damage that one so see, i'm sure he can i'm sure he can do better i'm sure he can do the damage i like this this is okay for when you run out of stuff in your deck if you didn't get a combo off yet full blown evil repeatable that's a lot of fun sure 15 damage max with this card. Scalable. 5, 10, 15. Yeah, Smite. Smite's a good. Mr. Smite's a good card, but usually you'll find yourself using them on turn 8 or 9. Turn 9. Um, because it's him, and the, the real perk is that he makes other pirates. Uh. Other pirates uh, charge. Charge is the word. Escapes me. Makes other pirates um soup. Makes the other pirates uh, custom knit scarfs. Charge. That's it. That's what he makes them. <laughs> um, all right so i'm not going to keep circus amalgam because i don't have the coin that's too high shiver me timbers i don't need it yet mage doesn't play a lot of minions and i've just gotten a notification that dinner will be done shortly i'm speaking to my off-screen director it's already done well then this will be the last match of the stream so if you're watching uh this is the last match of the stream uh oh so whetstone hatchet I, the only perk i can say to having two of these in the deck that you've got um usap is that later on uh we won't have to we'll be thin we'll still be thinning our deck when we trigger the reward, unless we drop both hatchets. Prison to Phoenix. Uh, this, if this is Mizaki Mage, they're playing it early. Uh, they could have an incredible hand, or they could have nothing. No. Or is a little more difficult for Mage to do the damage. Usually, there's two or three. Their spells are two, three, or six. Uh, damage 
fire sail is usually something that a priest would be keep or I mean a mage would be keeping against a pirate. That probably means that they either are very much missing what they need or they have two of them. Uh, I'm using deck tracker, so it tells me things like what turn they have this card in their hand. Uh, I'm not a savant. I can't count cards or anything fancy like that. So that's what I'm doing. I want to play more pirates. I want to play more pirates. Quick, quickly. One pirate. Great. Give me a weapon. Okay. Hey, uh, let's boost that weapon's attack. And let's hit something with it. Let's hit a mage. Alright. So, looking good on the board. He got rid of fire sale. Let's see if, if there is a fire sale. This would wipe everything off the board. Um... This would be the perfect turn to have a fire sale, so trading it last turn, that another one would be silly. Cram session for three cards is fine. That's 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 acceptable. Turn. Yep. I don't think that was bad. I think that person made good decisions. I don't really have an easy way to take that minion out without losing this weapon here for a Sword Eater. I do want to play a Sword Eater, but I want to attack first. I don't know. Let's do this, and we'll play the Sword Eater and see if he kills it. If not, we can pick it up with the deck hand. Uh, deck hand should be easy pickings. Uh, if he wants to shoot it with just his regular hero power. Uh, but then he'd have three mana. So later game, it's actually kind of nice to leave a minion out that they'd want to use their hero power on. Because it kind of encourages them to not use more spells with Muzaki Mage, but um, I want them to use spells in their hand so they have less for their big finish. When they get that Muzaki uh, Legend out, I think I'm butchering the name, Encanter's Flow, if you have both Encanter's Flows, you're ready to go, because uh, all your spells are so cheap. Conjure Mana Biscuit, you, uh, ideally you'll do Encanter's Flow two times so that Conjure Mana Biscuit costs nothing. And you get a biscuit that refreshes two mana crystals. So you get plus spell damage, you get more mana. But they're waiting on their, their legend. Uh, if they play that Mizaki and they don't lethal you, then they usually don't they usually don't win. But they can do like forty damage a turn with that hero. Okay, so I do want to watch out for um, Mutanus. It's not often that they play Mutanus in this deck. That's all I'll say. I hope. But if they play Mutanus, they're totally going to get a captain for a card because I have no other cards but that. Mutanus costs 7 mana. So. There we go. When did that fire sale? Siphon mana. That's great too. Good hand. Uh, good handful. So. Let's see. Um, I've got a good amount of health. I've got um, like a tempo advantage going on. I have board a board presence. His card advantage though, he's got about five extra cards. Oh, multicaster! He's gonna draw three off that usually. It gets to a point where if your spell damage is high enough, you can burn yourself off of a cram session. It's actually something that you have to watch out for when you're getting close to the end of Surge, but maybe we'll get to see 10 cards, so they're going to get rid of whatever. It doesn't matter. They just have to get rid of cards. They'll need about 3 cards that do damage to the opponent, so Ignites, usually. Um... 
burned orb, siphon mana. And as long as it does mana, as long as it does damage to a player, so. You earlier game, you're using first flames and second flames as much as you can, that kind of stuff. Um, that's probably an armored up. Uh... We're gonna need more gunpowder. This is my ship. Let's see first. That's face. That's okay. Ice barrier. What do they call it? Armor up. It's nice if you can use something for secrets. Um, mage, most of the time, the only secret you're going to see against Mage is Ice Barrier. Uh, that's that's about the only one. It, it's the closest they have to a heal. It's a Frost. Frost spells are very important to Mage uh, when they're doing Quest Mage or Mizaki Mage. I thought um, build a snowman or whatever was a really good one, but it's, it's it hasn't. Here we go, Mizaki Master Duelist, one mana, coin. Try and do conjure mana biscuit, mana biscuit. Okay, we're looking at spell damage now. Four plus four spell damage. A lot of mana stuff going on. Ooh, no, you don't want to overdraw. Okay, eight. Honorable kill, so cheap spells. Spell damage up. Now he's up to plus seven, so that ignite does ten damage. Would have aimed it at my face if I were that guy. But he'll he'll redraw his ignites. So if he decks himself, all he's decking himself into is doing uh, is doing damage every turn. So uh, I think he's hoping that. Um, this Muzaki will stay out and do tons of spell damage. I do think I'll have what it takes to kill it off this turn. And without that spell damage, uh, there's really not. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Uh, five damage to the Muzaki. Take him out. Armor up and put out a taunt. So even if he does draw into his ignites, they're only going to do five or six damage or whatever, and then that'll be all. He won't be drawing a ridiculous amount of cards. His spell damage won't be going up a lot. So without that card, there really isn't much left of the deck, and he's just going to—he's going to deck himself here. He's got two ignites though, and he can play them both. They'll get stronger. So every turn, there's going to be more ignites. He should make sure that he uses the ignite. It'll be face directed is the best way to put it. Yep. Every turn I'm shooting to. His health isn't very high. Uh, but drawing, if he uses anything to draw, he'll draw those right back again. Maybe he'll have a hot, hot streak. Here comes another one. Next turn, he'll draw into an Ignite. Here comes a weapon. Mm -hmm. Can't do any more damage than that. So he needs a minion on the board next turn. Uh... He's got two ignites. One of them should go for about six or seven now. Okay. Four. I am feeling it on the nervous side. Two cards. Those ignites still cost two. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Boy, another ignite would do it. Oh wow, what? Are you kidding me? 
Well, that was a good game. That guy almost really to see the mage. Um, I thought I'd have him easy dead to rights after I took out the Mizaki one, but if he would have had one turn with that, that would have been over. So you got to see you got to see it how it works. Um, if you watch the replay of this video, it'll be on the Twitch channel too. Um, you can watch that crazy session of cards they played at the end. Yes, thanks for watching, Usopp. Uh, drop by again at any time. I like to stream. All right, I'm playing Pirate Warrior. All right, but thank you for watching. Uh, Pirate Warrior and a couple mods of it right now. Tearing up uh, gold ranks at uh, on Hearthstone.